before I start on the suspension for this car, I need to take care of this 10 volt. Um, it's an 8.2, everything's weak, parts are expensive for it, just no reason to, to work on it, so um, time to replace it. Now I'm used to using a 9 inch in all my stuff. This is the one out of my 67 Chevelle before it went in. They're strong, they're durable, it's what I'm used to. I found a good 12 bolt for this car. Uh, it was the right year, so it was the right width. Um, I haven't used a 10 or 12 bolt in anything in the last 20 some years, so for me this is new. Um, the good part about this one is it ha already had an Eaton carrier in it, Posi unit in it, so I didn't have to replace that. Um, I had a local guy called Scribner Welding here in uh, in Western Washington that did all the work for me. Welded on the nine inch ends, moved. Uh, the shock mounts for me a little bit, welded up the axle tubes, um, really did a beautiful job. Um, everything's right with this thing, so um, it's straight, it's perfect, um, it's ready to go in the car as it is. Um, gear set's what I wanted, a 331, because this is a turbo car and I need a little bit of load on it, but um, it's ready to rock and roll as it is. Just wanted to do a quick update now that everything's bolted back up and in the car. Uh, everything fit pretty perfectly. Uh, the backing plates on the brakes I had a little bit of an issue with, but a little bit of milling took care of that. Uh, everything looks good, fits in there perfectly, and uh, hey, it's 12 bolt in the 67 El Camino. How can you go wrong? Here are the part numbers that I use for this build. Again, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions about this video uh, or any of the other ones that I've done so far, please drop me a comment below.